So you want to know something that is pretty interesting? This whole topic of high value, low value men and women. So that is a very popular discussion. You can find it in almost every platform. Every podcast is talking about a high value woman, a high value man, right? Everyone is talking about what this high value woman is and what this high value man is and how to get one or how to know when you are one or whatever the case. And I just I was talking to a friend the other day and I just wanted to, you know, talk about this analogy. Right. That um, I feel would clarify things a little bit. And I want to I want to speak primarily to the men. Why is it that men cannot maintain a high value woman or how is it that you can get a high value woman and then lose her? All right. So I want to use the analogy of university or college. Those of us who went to university or college, we kind of know the process. We know what that entails. So I want you to follow me with this process. Right. So I just find it very interesting. And I thought about this the other day when I was talking with a friend. Okay, And when you're looking for this high value woman. All right. um, It's kind of like applying for college or your favorite university. You know how you have your top five colleges or universities. So most men have their top five women, you know, on their roster that, you know, they're kind of targeting or whatever. And so here's the deal. And this is why you men are losing high value women through divorce, breakup um, from, you know, another man, whatever. And yes, I consider myself a high value woman and I'm pretty sure most of us, you know, men and women, I don't I don't know anyone that wants to think of themselves as a low value anything. Right. So I want to put in the context of a university or college or um, someone who's applying for university or to get accepted into college. So as men, men are hunters by nature. Right. So they like to seek. So let's look at that as when you're going to university, men, you have your top five universities or college choices, right? These are your top five, meaning you'll just be, you'll just be, you know, just over the moon excited if you get into one of these top five, right? That's the excited. You're, you're, you're on the hunt. You're looking for that special person that, that misses, right? So you apply and then what happens is you're looking now to get that acceptance letter. So, you know, you do you did everything that you needed to do. You passed your ACTs, your SATs, you know, um, you did everything that you needed to do to, you know, to apply and everything like that. Now you're waiting and you're anticipating that, you know, did you get in or did that acceptance letter? Right. Um, nobody wants to be rejected. So. You get in the mail that acceptance letter. So that signifies when you landed that high value woman and she actually says yes. When she says yes to you, whether it's marriage, to be your fiance, your girlfriend or whatever, you're like, you're excited. Your chest is poked out. You feel like you're in there. You're walking with a certain level of confidence now and there's more bass in your voice and you know, you're just going all out now and you buy new clothes, you got new cologne, you, you're making sure your lining is tight. You're doing all of these things because you want to impress her uh, because you got her and you're just so excited. But now, just like when you go off to college, now when you get accepted into your favorite university, it's one thing to, to get accepted, but it's another thing to stay there. It's another thing now to have to put in the work in order to stay there in order to graduate. So follow me. What tends to happen with low value men who meets a high value woman and gets her, you get comfortable, just like freshmen. And I call this the freshman syndrome. And I call it the freshman syndrome because what I'm getting ready to talk about happens primarily in the freshman stage. And freshmen, when they go away to college, they get excited because there's no accountability. Nobody tell them what to do. You know, they don't answer to nobody. They can come and go as they please. They have this newfound freedom. Right. So what happens is they don't know how to handle that freedom or the excitement. That's like you got this high value woman. She's everything you could ever want. But now you don't know how to handle her. Right. It's not she's not someone you're used to, but you got her. Right. So what happens with most freshmen when, you know, their nose is wide open because they got this 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 newfound freedom and they can do what they want. And a lot of times what happens is they get comfortable. And that's what these low value men with a high value woman. This is what you do. You get comfortable with her. Right. What does that look like on a university level? 
you start skipping out on classes, you start um, missing text messages, you don't call as often, you don't do none of the things you did in the beginning when you were trying to get accepted or when you were trying to get her to say yes, right? So you start, you know, skipping out, you start, you know, spending all day playing your games or whatever. And while she is continuing to grow, she is in college, she's focused, she's on her coursework work, you are partying, you staying out late at night, you know, you're not going to the help sessions, right? So while she's progressing, you're staying stagnant. Now it's time to graduate, but you are informed by the dean of your department that unfortunately, Mr. John Doe, you have not met the requirements to graduate with your class. But the high value woman, not only did she graduate, she's now getting ready to move to her next level of graduate school or her career while you're still having this freshman mentality. So what am I saying? Now this graduation and she's getting ready to graduate because she did the work. She did the coursework. She went to the health, the study sessions, you know, and now she's graduating and probably getting ready to go to her next level, which is graduate school or enter into her career. While you are still stuck at this freshman level where you are doing the bare minimum to get by and you forgot that she was growing. She was going from sophomore to junior to senior and you were still stuck and fresh with a freshman mentality at a freshman level. Do you understand? So you stop maintaining the relationship and she outgrew it, right? So what am I saying? Women, there are, there are men who are going to approach you and they will do what is necessary to get you. They done studied you from afar. They know what you like. They know how to impress you. But here's the deal. Just like universities, universities and colleges, they don't allow students to go to the next grade or, you know, from freshman to sophomore to junior to senior without having certain prerequisites. They don't allow you to graduate unless you have completed all the courses and prerequisites that are required in order for you to get that bachelor's or that master's degree. So women, Unless that man is doing the work and he has, he has already taken or he has already put in certain prerequisites, all right, and is taking certain coursework. Well, what, is that, what does that mean? He is doing what it takes. Not only is he doing what it takes, he is continuing to grow, learning you. He is, he is, he is adding value to you and to the relationship. So instead of making it easy for a man to have access to you, instead of allowing a man with a GED to come in and skip sophomores in junior and senior year, and you're letting a man with a GED come in and graduate, and you're handing him a bachelor's without prerequisites and, and, and completing the coursework, and then you're wondering why the relationship is trash. Well, you should not allow yourself to be easily accessible where he feels that he can skip all the necessary fundamentals and all the, the value that is necessary that is going to sustain a valuable, healthy relationship. Because let's understand something. You will always find somebody that's willing to do the bare minimum with you. All right. But for you to say, well, when, 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 when she gets ready to graduate, and what that looks like is she may, it may come in the form of a divorce. It may come in the form of a breakup. You understand? She may have met someone else. What that looks like is you failed to do what was required in order to maintain her. Let's, let's be clear, because any person can find somebody that is willing to do the bare minimum. And what happens when that man or that woman, when, when, when you don't graduate, what happens? The school says you either have to take summer classes, go to summer school, or a lot of them just drop out, or they go to junior college. A lot don't even get accepted into university. You want to know why? Unfortunately, it's because they can't afford it. So just like people, there's a reason why not, the universities don't let everybody in. The reason why universities don't let everybody in is because not everybody is able to meet the requirements because universities offer something of value that is going to add to your life. And as women, that's how you got to esteem yourself. You have to understand that you have something of value to add to his life so you cannot afford for him to skip prerequisites and courses and jump to the main course of graduation until he completes certain coursework. 
you have to understand that men you men sometimes like to manipulate women. Men like to always say that when a woman moves on or when she says that she, you know, she no longer, she's no longer interested, she wants a divorce, she wants to move on. You want to say her standards are too high. She's high maintenance. You're right. She's a high value woman. Men love chasing. It is in their DNA. That is how God, that's how God created them. But not just the physical aspect of chasing to get you. Once he gets you, give him something to continue to chase after you by continuing to develop yourself, being everything that God called you to be. That is going to, that is going to cause him to want to grow and level up and be the best man he can be for you. But when you lower your standards, when you lower your standards, that's when men get comfortable. That's when they become disrespectful. That's when they cheat. That's when they use and abuse and, and, and no longer value who you are. And I want women to remember you are like a university. You have something of value to offer. And so you, you want to make sure that the men that are coming to, to ask for your acceptance meet the basic requirements, have prerequisites before they go to the next level. Don't just allow them to come at you with a GED mentality and allow them to graduate without going through the, 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 the courses and the coursework required to get your value. Because what happens is when you get a low value man with a high value woman is not going to work at all. A woman of value is not afraid to lose or to give up a man who is not willing to put in the work. Just like a university is not is not is not, a university is, is not afraid to 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 kick out students who don't want to do the coursework. And as women, you need to esteem, esteem yourselves the same because don't get it twisted. Men will manipulate you when they are not willing to do the work. And when you intimidate them or when they see that you are growing and you are doing what you're supposed to do, they will say things like your standards are too high. It's not that your standards are too high. Their standards are too low and they are lazy and don't want to do the work. And that means that you are not the woman for, for them. Just like in college, when they can't make the grade, what happens? That's not the major for them. So what do a lot of students do? Change majors. Simple. It's not you, it's them. So know when it's time to change majors. So when it's the right man, he will add value to you. You would add value to each other. You guys will grow together. And when a man says that your standards are set too high, what he's really saying is his standards are set too low. And as a woman of high value, it never benefits you to lower your standards to accommodate his low values. Because when he is of worth, he will, his standards will come up. And he will be more than willing to add value to you. He will love you and he will value you the way that God designed you to be valued and to be loved. Know when this is not working. You are, a, you are unequally yoked. You are a, a woman of high value and you have a man here who does not want to value you. He does not want to put in the work. Understand this. When a man says that your standards are too high, understand that God... God, the same God that caused water to come out of a rock is the same God that will raise up a man that will love and value you the way that you were designed to be loved and valued. Don't ever think that, oh, because society says there's a shortage of men. Men are becoming gay. They're in prisons. They're this and they're that. That is a very limited way of thinking. God knows how to raise up a man and he will do that. It's according to your faith. It's like this, right? When you are a woman... And we all know this. We all know this because we hear it everywhere. We already know that men and I know that this whole women lib wants women out to make the first move and they want women out to be chasers. Men were programmed by God to chase and to hunt. Right. But here's the thing is women, when a man chases after you, don't get so comfortable just because not all of a sudden, you know, he y'all got each other or whatever the case may be. As long as you are continuing to grow as a woman 
and providing something of value for him to chase and grow after, it will continue to allow him to chase after you after that growth and after that value. Why? Because you are growing and you are giving him something to level up to as well. So you should never get so comfortable just because he chased you for three years and now and all of a sudden you allowed him to catch you. So what? There's levels to this. That's how you let the chase, that's how you continue the chase. Because men get bored too, just like women. So as long as you continue in your relationship to grow and to go from glory to glory, then you cause that man, you give that man something to grow and to, and to, and to, to go after, to chase after. So that's all I have to say about that. So I want you women to continue to keep your standards high and never stop growing. Never stop adding to your value because the right man, that right man is going to come and he's going to continue to add value to you and he's going to grow with you, not hinder your progress and not hinder your growth. Just trust and believe and know that God got you. You don't have to settle and you don't have to bring your, your, your standards, you know, below subpar. And as long as you do that, you can't help but win. <laughs>